everybody welcome or welcome back to my channel this is chelsea's tarot readings for today's pick a card this is going to be is this person emotionally available and this is the person you're thinking about romantically please choose the pile or the crystal you are drawn to this is pile one this is pile two and this is pile three I'll post the timestamps in the description as well as the comments and if you would like to book a more personal reading you can go to the link on your screen now. Other than that, I hope you enjoy and let's get right into it. Hi those of you who were drawn to the first pile or the first crystal. So is this person that you're thinking of emotionally available? So we have heavy Taurus and Pisces energy here. Earth, water. So it could be either or. This could also be one of your signs as well. Strong signs in your chart. Just uh, for extra confirmation. So is this person emotionally available? First we will look at what oracle cards we have here. Or you know what? Yeah, we'll look at the oracle. Okay, so we do have addiction. Now, with the addiction card, this talks about codependency, obsession, possession, controlling, as well as blocks. Hmm. Then we have twin flames. Wow, so I can see why there is that heavy pull towards this person or vice versa as well not only do we have twin flames but we also have attraction now typically too our twin flames are kind of like toxic which is why we learn lessons from the connection so with addiction it's a little concerning because I feel like this person really has to work this out before they can even move forward or think about you know their love life so now we're moving on to the tarot cards and we have four of swords and this is also the energy of stillness this is the energy of exhaustion also the person on the tarot card is very tired you know you can tell they're exhausted and worn out then interest interestingly we have the princess of cups in reverse so yeah there's that Pisces coming out I'm just getting like with the princess of cups in reverse this person is not compassionate enough I feel like not only to like others but to themselves which is why they, this is something they need to work on i'm also getting emotional immaturity okay and then these reverse so then we have that was up right six of pentacles yeah i'm just getting like this person is in need of kind of like the help right now from other people and then we also have justice so again balancing i'm seeing them trying to balance and right their wrongs that kind of thing and we also have the morning so i feel like this person's very self-aware they're waking up to this i wanted to get some extra clarification so we also have goodbye and we have bumping head so I feel like, you know, again, this is something Twin Flames will also do often, but there has been an ending here, and I feel like this person knows that there is, like, some level of toxicity. It doesn't have to be from you. It could be from them. Projection. Mirroring as well. And what did I say earlier? Yeah, this person is now seeing you with illumination like where they are they're looking at it from a higher perspective and they know that they need to heal first and that they need to not be so you know obsessive 
about the connection and focus on themselves, which is good. Because I feel like, again, they're kind of in, they're going towards that. They're not there right now, but that's where they're headed. So that's a good thing. So this person could come back around. Again, there's still that heavy attraction between you and them that hasn't gone away. Twin flames, you know, you, that, that kind of doesn't go away. But there is need for the healing and the self-work. So, yeah. But that was pile one. I hope this made sense. I hope you enjoyed. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. Hi, those of you who are drawn to the second pile for this beautiful light blue crystal. So, is this person emotionally available? For the signs here, we have Cancer energy as well as Gemini. Pretty interesting. So this could be their, one of their big signs, big three, yours as well. Either or, this is extra confirmation. That's why I pull those. Alright, first we're going to take a look at the oracle cards for if this person is emotionally available. So we have lightning, which is, I kind of get, with lightning I get a lot of action. So I feel like this person's kind of working hard right now and doing their own thing. That's kind of like what I'm getting. It's like fast motion, sort of like the Knight of Swords. Ooh, then we have cope. So this person could be using substances to cope or other ways of coping. This could be someone that you have already been with, but if it's not, then this is just kind of like how they are in their day-to-day -day activities. Hmm. Then we also, this is interesting, then we also have a wedding here. So yeah, this could be someone you have separated from, or this person is actually with someone else. So that's why you ask, because you're wondering. Um, is this person emotionally available? I don't think that they are, honestly, but I also feel like the relationship that they are in isn't helping them either if that makes sense like helping their personal growth so let's see what we have for our tarot cards of this person person i cannot talk person is emotionally available all right so we have the ace of swords i feel like and you know even with gemini energy i feel like with the ace of swords you can really have an interesting conversation with this person. That could be another reason why you're asking, because I feel like this person's a very good conversationalist. We also have strength. I feel like also, yeah, coming off strong. Seven of Cups reversed. I feel like what I'm getting with these cards is this person comes off to you very strong, but then we have the King of Cups in reverse. Again, not surprised. And then we also have the Devil, so yeah. Yeah. What I'm getting is, yeah, this person needs to work. It's it, This is very similar to Pile 1, but there's a need to focus on themselves. And then also with the devil, this also goes along with the coping as well. Because it's not healthy, like, what they're doing. And then also, there could be, like, you know, some kind of unhealthy addiction as well. As If you know what I'm talking about, you know. But, yeah, I'm just getting, like, as a whole, no. But it's it has a lot to do with the self-work. And honestly... This person has a lot to do, so they might come off strong. They might ha hide behind, like, this mask. But I'm getting they're not like that at all. Like, they're not how they come off or as confident as they come off, you know? 
they hide a lot. So yeah, that's what I'm getting for pile two. Hope this made sense in some way. Hope you got the answers and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. Hi, those of you who were drawn to the third pile. Now for this pile, it's heavy fire sign energy, like heavy. We have Sag and Leo here, so yeah. It's giving, so this could be your person, the person you're wondering about, their big three, one of them, or your big three, one of them, so. But heavy fire sign. For a lot of you, I'm getting like, you and this other person could be fire signs. Okay, so is this person emotionally available? Let's get into it. Okay. <laughs> so we have thug. Alright. So, alright. We have Cupid's arrow. And then we have, it is safe for you to love. So what I'm getting with these cards is that I feel like with Thug, it's kind of, I'm getting more people have told you stuff about this person or this person might have a past, but I'm just getting like, this person is really safe. Like it's safe for you to I guess go after this, pursue this, you know, be with this person because I'm feeling this person feels the same about you. And yeah, I just feel like you're kind of wondering if it's safe or if they still, you know, are who they are when they made the mistakes. Did they learn from the mistakes? All right. So we have King of Swords. This is heavy mental energy. So I feel like this person does do things out of their mind rather than their heart first. So they lead with their mind. We have the devil here. There's, um... I feel like... I don't know. Let me see. I'm gonna get the rest. The sun. Yeah, I'm getting their strong. Okay, so yeah, I'm getting a strong sexual attraction. But I'm also feeling like you and this person bring out each other's inner child as well. So it's not even just like the heavy attraction. It's kind of like also that inner child as well. Being able to bring that out and just be yourself. So then we have the chariot. So yeah, I'm feeling like this person has battled their demons. I feel like they've made peace with the past and what they've been through. And now they just want to move forward. They're feeling a lot more balanced. They're feeling a lot more balanced and they want to move forward with this connection. They're very confident within themselves. So that's good. And then we have Three of Pentacles. So yeah, I feel like this person is emotionally available. And I feel like they're ready to work with you and be a team, you know? Yeah, I do. I feel like this person is has matured. And they've definitely learned from their past mistakes. So yeah, I do feel like they're emotionally available and for you specifically that's why spirits indicating it's safe for you to love i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next one bye for now